Hello and welcome to the legend of Highway 64 A Broken Bar tonight. I will tell you a story based on events so unique I had a hard time believing it myself. One cold night in November 1998, a man named Ray Hoskins was driving along a Highway 72 coming out of Texas entering the Oklahoma state line. It was about 1.30 in the morning when Ray crossed over from Texas to Oklahoma and he was driving about 13 hours that day so far, so he promised himself he would pull off at a truck stop after crossing the Oklahoma state line. As he kept on driving, his eyes were starting to feel heavy, sort of like lead in a Wally World sack. He started to yawn and wipe the tears from his eyes as he kept focusing on the road, but as he looks ahead he sees a dark figure in the road. As he gets closer to it, it starts to vanish away until he reaches right where it was. Then it completely disappears into the dark night. His CB radio started to crackle and make static noise, then ever so slowly and breathy, the words go back was spoken quietly, but very clear. So Ray picks up his radio and says this is Ray Ray can you repeat what you said? The radio went dead silent, so he puts it back on the radio and starts to wonder what is going and all broken bar he tries to think nothing of it. But deep down he knew something was off. He passes a highway sign that says Highway 64 and he had an exit to go off of in 17 miles before his truck stop. 15 miles of Highway 64 would be the worst miles of his career. But he had yet to find out. As he was driving he notices two bright lights behind him coming up fast on his tail. So Ray moves over to the right lane so the truck driver can pass. But the mysterious trucker kept on following behind Ray. The truck driver that was behind Ray immediately moved over to the right lane and tries to move side by side and as it sped up right next to him, Ray looks over and his blood ran cold. There was nobody in the driver's seat of the truck. Then the CB radio crackles again and the words get off the road in a deep quiet voice. So having a driver loose truck on the road meant one thing, the voice that filled the quiet air beforehand could have been the trucker from the past. The stretch of Highway 64 started to get foggy and trees closed in on the two trucks. Ray had to get off the highway before he was a victim of the road. The driverless truck started to drive ahead of Ray until he vanished completely into the distance. The CB crackled one more time before going dead silent. You will have broken Barry. I thought what does that mean? Out of the darkness a figure which looked to be a very tall human but wasn't shaped how a man would look. The figure looked like a shadow and it walked in the middle of the road to broken bar staring down the big truck hauling down the road and the headlights. I swerved out of the way of the man in the road. I knew I needed sleep, and to get the hell off of Highway 64. The exit off was coming up before the truck stop that I planned to stay the night at. I start slowing the truck down to a steady 45 miles an hour as I pull off the highway. I come to a stop at the stop sign and turned right as the truck stop was a one-fourth of a mile off the highway. I cruised down the two-lane road until I pulled into the truck stop parking lot. I parked the truck and shut it down and I locked the doors and walk inside the restaurant. The clock was 2.27 a.m. As I walk in the door, everyone looked at me as if I saw a ghost, and I heard chatter in one corner of the room talking about the ghost of Highway 64. I ordered some nice hot pancakes and sausage and a cup of coffee, and as I waited for my food to arrive I asked some of the fellow truck drivers about this ghost. What I learned sent shivers down my spine. The truck and the figure in the road was a spirit of an old trucker that died years ago on that stretch of road. My food finally arrived steaming hot, and as I eat my food I look outside and saw the dark figure staring in at me. I blinked my eyes and wiped them and looked back and the figure was gone. I looked around the restaurant and everyone was minding their own business. I finished my food and paid the cashier and walked out to my truck. I went to grab my keys and unlock the door before sleeping. I heard the sound of boots clomping on the concrete and I spun my head around and nothing was there. I got a cold shiver again down my back and realized the ghost of Highway 64 was watching me from a distance. I laid in my bed inside the truck, but I couldn't sleep thinking about that ghost being outside. I checked outside one last night and nothing was there. I knew the trucker that died years before onto the road and the truckers that made their way on it. I made it out alive, 
and if I wasn't more careful, I would have ended up like that trucker that died. Be very careful on Highway 64 and don't stop for the figure or the driver loose truck. If you stop, it will be your last stop, or your last drive ever broke.